Good evening. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of News 5 and Signal TV's One News, Radio Cinco and One PH. The Interior Department has welcomed the move by the Supreme Court to decongest Philippine jails by allowing reduced bail for poor prisoners. In an administrative circular dated April 30, the High Court moved to allow reduced bail for indigent prisoners seeking temporary release amid a health crisis. Minor offenders who cannot afford bail may also be released by way of recognizance. The DILG says the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, or BJMP, will prioritize the release of qualified inmates that have contracted the virus. The department says some 3,000 prisoners in various BJMP facilities in the country are qualified for release. The Bureau of Internal Revenue further extends the deadline for filing and payment of taxes amid the extended implementation of the ECQ in some areas. Taxpayers can now file their income tax returns and pay their dues until June 14, which has been extended twice to May 15 and 30. Likewise, deadline for filing value-added tax returns and tax amnesty on delinquencies were pushed to May 30 and June 22, respectively. The health department urges the sports community in the country to make their future plans suitable to the so-called new normal. In an interview with 1PH Power and Play, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere says that sports events might not be allowed soon because the, vi the virus is still spreading in the country. Under the quarantine guidelines, sports competitions and events are not allowed. Vergere also clarifies that it is safe to do outside exercises like jogging and biking. However, she discourages it because it might attract a lot of people to go outside. Maaari na isang tao, safe yan, di ba? Pero kung marami na kayong tumatakbo, marami na kayong magbabay, marami na kayong lalabas, iyan ay hindi na magiging safe. Kaya nga ayaw natin payagan sa ngayon kasi susunod lahat at ito ay magiging uh, source ng pagkapahawa-hawa ng tao. A fire erupted in a residential area in Barangay Maharlika, Taguig. Around 30 families were affected after the fire raised their houses near a mosque. A man was killed after being trapped in his house where the blaze started. His family was able to survive and said the man was fixing electric wires when the fire ignited. Most of the survivors were Muslim families who were fasting in observance of Ramadan. They are currently taking shelter at an evacuation center. Local government units are scrambling to finish the distribution of the first tranche of cash aid under the social amelioration program. But with the addition of 5 million beneficiaries for the program as announced by the palace, will they accomplish this in time? We have with us DSWD spokesperson Irene Dumlao on the phone. Magandang gabi po sa inyo ma'am. Magandang gabi po, Ma'am Maricel. Gayun din po sa lahat ng mga kinisubaybay sa inyong programa. Opo. Ma'am, following the announcement of uh, Secretary uh, Roque that there will be an additional 5 million beneficiaries, paano po natin tutukuyin kung sino-sino po itong uh, 5 million families? Yes, Ma'am Maricel. Ang ating po mga local government units will be submitting the names of the beneficiaries who will be included in the uh, social amelioration program. If you could recall, Ma'am Maricel, um, na kasaad po sa ating pong mga guidelines that eligible beneficiaries who were not included in the original list of uh, beneficiaries may file an appeal with their local social welfare development officers. Awesome. And the local, local social welfare development officers may uh, submit the consolidated list of eligible beneficiaries to the DSWD field office para naman po ma-validate natin and ascertain that they are not existing beneficiaries of other DSWD programs and services. Does it mean, ma'am, na yung mga nag-file ng complaint will be part of the priorities para po dun sa additional 5 million? Uh, well, yes, ma'am, Marisol, provided na sila po ay hindi po mga existing beneficiaries mm -hmm. ng uh, DSWD programs and services. Pero ma'am, paano yan? Kasi po ang DILG nag-set po ng 7 days na deadline for the LGUs na ma-distribute lahat 
yung uh, first tranche dun sa beneficiaries. So, given na magkakaroon po ng additional 5 million, what will happen po doon sa 7 days na deadline? Well, we will have to discuss this with uh, the Department of Interior and local government. And uh, apart from that, we will also have to discuss this with the local government units. Mm -hmm. Dahil nga po sila yung ating partner in the implementation of SAP, and sila po yung nakakakilala doon sa mga additional na beneficiaries or yung pinatawag po natin left out, uh, sila rin po ang mag-identify ng distribution points and distribution strategies. Mm -hmm. So kinakailangan pag-usapan ito namin with the local government units. But we only have 200 billion pesos po allotted for the 18 million families based on the Bayanihan Act. So saan po natin kukunin yung funds for the additional 5 million? Well, yes, Ma'am Maricel, gaya rin po ang mga nauna nating uh, pronouncements. Ang DSWD, once we receive the uh, consolidated list of uh, eligible beneficiaries who have been left out, and ito po ay na-validate natin, Ito naman po ay i-discuss natin sa ating mga economic managers para mm -hmm. may consider no, at mabigyan din po ng karagdagang pondo. So baka dito papasok ma'am yung supplemental budget? Well, uh, we will uh, leave it to our economic managers to discuss that po. Ma'am, you mentioned earlier na ipagpapaubaya po natin sa LGU yung list ng additional 5 million. Pero some of the LGUs po, uh, meron silang mga concerns, specifically yung navota. Si Mayor uh, uh, Toby Chanko po ang sinasabi, dapat magbigay na lamang daw po nung uh, listahanan yung uh, DSWD para mas madali daw yung pag-identify doon sa mga uh, valid o yung mga, mga pwedeng beneficiaryo. Uh, ano po yung tugon natin dito? Unang-una po, gaya nga po ng lagi nating sinasabi, ang DSWD naman po ay nakikipag-ugnayan sa mga local government units. At tayo rin po ay nakikinig sa kanina po mga suggestion at rekomendasyon para po mas mapaayos natin itong implementation ng SAP. Ito po ay pag-uusapan ng field office natin in the National Capital Region with the, the different local chief executives para po ma-determine natin how to expedite the process of not only identifying the beneficiaries, but also in the distribution of the aid. Uh, Ma'am, if there will be an additional 5 million families uh, doon sa social amelioration program, does it mean na magkakaroon ng delay for the second tranche? Because that's still part of the first tranche. Eh. Well, ang uh, naging pronouncement rin naman po ng ating butihin niya, Secretary, kung ano po yung nauna na nabigyan ng ayuda, at kung uh, ready naman na po yung liquidation report ng ating mga local uh, government units, maaari naman po nilang itong isumiti na sa DSWD para maumpisahan na po natin yung post payout validation mm -hmm. and mafacilitate na rin po yung release of the second tranche. I see. So kahit partial liquidation at kahit hindi pa natatapos yung 5 million na distribution, pwede nang simulan yung second tranche. Tama po kayo, Ma'am Maricel. Mm -hmm. All right, sige po ma'am. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, DSWD spokesperson Irene Dumlao. That's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Marisol Halili. We are One News.